Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of RNK Distributing, and I want to work with you a little bit on resizing designs. So let's get started. Let's get us a design. So I'm going to come into my library over at the right hand side. I'm going to come, go ahead and come on down, and I'm going to go to the free monthly designs. I'm going to click on October and we're going to go into October 2014. Now that I've found the folder of the designs I want to work with, I want to see the designs in that folder. So I'm going to come and I'm going to hover over the design tab and you can see it's brought up the designs that are in that folder. Let's just grab this design and pull it onto screen. I love the fact that it's all drag and drop. Now we have this design and we may want to resize it. So what I'm going to do is in my sequence view, right here is our sequence view, I am going to left mouse click on all items and I'm going to select everything on the screen. Now there are a couple of ways we can resize. The first way is if you know exactly what you want to do, you're going to come in and you're going to transform the image, that is resize it. Now when I come into transform, it tells me the width of this image is 3.74 inches and the height is 2.67. Well I really want this, this image to be 3.5 inches tall. Now it says maintain aspect ratio, which means if I size one, the other is going to size proportionately. So I'm going to change the height to 3.5 inches and I'm going to let the width will change proportionately. I'm going to apply and now I have resized my image. So now I have made it larger. That's the first way to resize. Now the second way to resize the image would be as if I just, let me back up a little bit, let me zoom out. If I just wanted to make it a little bit bigger, I would just drag. And you can see I have made it larger and I can go into transform and see now I have made it four and a half inches tall. So by grabbing a corner, you can resize it proportionately both height and width. Now if I were to grab a side handle, I would change the width without changing the height and sometimes we do this because we want the distortion, we want the look. Same by the same token, if I grab the one in the center here and drag it, I would change the height without changing the width. So those are two ways to resize. Now the other thing we have is, is a feature I just absolutely love and it's a new feature in this software. Let me go look at my hoop. I'm going to view, select hoop. Now I love this because what I can do is depending upon what machine I'm working with. Let's say I'm working with a brother or a baby lock. I can go to the PEZ file format and now any hoop that's available in that format is right here in front of me. So I'm going to pick my 4x4 four four frame and I'm going to say OK. Now you can see my frame is much smaller than my design, but we have a new feature that I just love. I'm going to come up here on the top toolbar and I have a new icon and it's called Fit to Hoop. So by left mouse clicking on Fit Hoop, it will change my design to fit within the hoop I have selected. So this one was smaller, I could come view, select hoop, let's go ahead and pick a larger hoop. Let's pick uh, my 130 by 180, which is my 5 by 7. I'm going to say OK, and again I'm going to tell it fit to hoop. So now it's going to resize as big as possible to fit my hoop. So we can transform, we can start by holding our corner handles and dragging them or we can use our fit to hoop icon. So these are three ways that you can come in and resize a design. I hope you've enjoyed this short lesson.